with it, hey. And this poem is to piss you off. All right. <laughs> I say to you, my friends, don't worry. Don't worry. Things are going as planned. Mm. We don't need to do anything right now. Just sit back, be patient, all our hate groups, etc. Yes, even you, the clan. Don't worry about them anymore. They're weak, unorganized. They don't even know their own value or worth. We don't need to do anything right now. The civil rights movement is about dead. We remember when it was birthed. Rosa Parks refusing to give his seat on that bus where she's not here anymore. And that King fella, well, we took care of him. You know the one who's always concerned about segregation, equal rights, and helping the poor? Mega Evans, James Orange, and Jose Williams, they're all long gone. Fannie Lou Hamer, Fred, Mal Fred Shuttlesworth, Malcolm X, those strong black men and women who stood for the cause at the break of dawn. Just be patient. They ain't got a whole lot of fight in them left. You see, Andrew Young is getting tired. Jesse's getting old. Joe Lowry, his, his mind is sharp, but he's still worried about his health. Just be patient. Don't worry about their children. They didn't educate them at all. Unlike the Jewish community, they didn't pass along their very rich history. And all their kids want to do is rap, have babies, and play ball. Just be patient. We gave them the month of February to reflect on all the contributions that were made. Do they even celebrate Black History Month anymore? Don't worry, their history will fade. Just be patient. The plan is almost fulfilled. The very place they should gather and pray and say not this, but thy will, their churches have changed. Do they even preach from the Bible anymore? It seems like that church is not concerned with everything else except saving souls. Just be patient. Just because they have a black president, they think he's helped to advance their cause. Look at the way we're fighting now, arguing among each other. Their patience are help, helping us without any cause. Just be patient. You remember Willie Lynch? What he spoke to us about 30 years ago, what is all alive and well. Look at the way they're killing each other. They don't even want to go to college and fight. There's less black men in college than they have in jail. Just be patient. Their families are broken. Do they even believe in marriage anymore? They don't have the same value. This new generation doing the right thing for them is a chore. Just be patient. They're not cut from the same cloth. They don't have the same fight. Some of them think they've already arrived and others think they're white. You see, they forgot about all the people for whom have helped blood and died. They forgot about all the people who got the voting rights and we soon we'll have those rights back. They forgot about all the crosses that were burned, the bombs and houses and businesses we set. They forgot about the dogs and the water holes. They forgot about the tears and the sweat. But like a good medicine, in just a little while, it'll take effect. Just be patient. Or we'll do what they say, we'll just chill. And in a few more years, we'll all be downhill. Just be patient. Don't be patient. Let's fight for Mr. Martin. Yeah.